Welcome to our Professions Guys in Medivia. This is a five-part series where we'll be diving into diverse professions available in Medivia, focusing on cooking, fishing, and mining. We'll also touch on complementary professions like farming and skinning. The Professions in Medivia Online is not necessarily part of the metagame, but is designed to enrich the overall experience and offer some meaningful benefits in return for those who invest time into them. Those professions are designed to complement the core gameplay, providing some advantages and added enjoyment without disrupting the game's balance too much. But before we start, I'd like to say a word about our new sponsor. So let's get started with fishing. Fishing is another profession in Medivia offering both immediate rewards and long-term benefits. Fishing is a skill that has a huge difference if you are in a hotkey server as you can assign the fishing rod to a hotkey and make your life way easier. However, bear in mind that macros are not allowed in Medivia, so if you're caught using any tool of those sorts, you will be banned for infringing this rule. Ultimately, what is the purpose of fishing? The purpose of fishing is mostly 99% related to either making money or cooking meals. And you would only sell to people to make money if their goal is to cook meals. However, it's important to know that the benefits of cooking do not translate with the server rates. So there is a bigger benefit of using meals in low rate servers than it is on high rate servers, just because it is basically the same effect in both servers. So the first thing you gotta do to start fishing is to obtain a fishing rod. Unlike Tibia here, the fishing rods do not require warm. So just by right clicking and left clicking on the at water SQM is enough for you to start fishing. It's important to know that higher quality rods can catch rarer fish, but it's not certain if the higher quality rods also increase your chance of catching more rare fish. The lower tier rods can get sucked in the water it is rare, but it can happen. If you want to take the lowest tier rods, the wooden fishing rods for training skill session, make sure to bring at least two or three with you as they can get sucked into the water. However, the second and third tier rods cannot get pulled into the water. Those are the rods there on your screen. The first rods, the initial one you can buy in any equipment shop, and I'm going to show you guys how to do so. It costs 150 gold. The second one costs 25 thousand gold so it is some sort of big investment i'll recommend that if you're looking forward to fish or if you don't want to have your rod sucked in the water and the third one is the best of them all it allows you to catch some very rare fishes for example barbells and flame angel fish to craft that rod you will need to bring first 10 northern pikes to randy in abukir or you can ask a friend that has already turned in those 10 northern pikes. Some people also sell this as a service in new servers, since it's quite rare to obtain 10 northern pikes. And you can exchange 10 white wolves or one northern pike on the NPC Earhart next to the Thoris boats by just saying white wool. He's gonna ask you, do you have 10 white wool for me? If you say yes, he's gonna give you one northern pike. So this is a way to facilitate to get those 10 northern pikes, which are exceptionally rare fish to fish, especially in the beginning of the server. So if you're looking to get an advantage and there's n it's a new server and you're looking for ways to make some money, some people get 10 northern pikes, talk to Randy and they sell the service to other people to craft this third tier fishing rod. To buy the first tier rod, you just go to any tool NPC. In this example here, I'm going to the exact fishing NPC in Thoris, and you buy it for 150 gold. To get the second rod, you go to Holden Graph, which is east of Thoris, and you talk to this NPC and you pay 25 gold to get the second fishing rod. You can also purchase a fishing net for 135 Medivia coins and every fish that you fish will go straight to your net instead of your backpack, which is great for organization and quality of life. Also, there's a setting that was recently introduced on the fishing nets that allows you to ignore herrings, which is the lowest tier fish that it's only used for really to, to eat, to make you full, so you store HP and mana. So you can ignore those herrings and ignore any trash items, for example, broken glass and worn boots, which sometimes get on your way. You can also purchase 
30 bait pack in the store for uh, 35 Medivia coins. Each bait has a thousand uses. So it means that you can stand still at one location fishing instead of having to move around since the regular water fishing has a 10 minute cooldown once you fish a water square meter. So this fish bait is great in new servers because they normally pay themselves out. And also they're a great way for you to boost your fishing skill with efficiency since not only increases your efficiency by 50%, so you can get 50% more rare fish theoretically, and also you don't need to move around and walk around a lot, which will make your fishing skilling way faster. To fish, you right click on your rod and left click on the water square meter. Again, if you're not using baits or if you're not fishing in pools of fish, you cannot fish from the same square meter. Again, you have to wait for 10 minutes for it to refresh and restart. So only then you can fish on the same square meter. So what's the impact of your fishing skill on your fishing? So higher fishing skill increases the success rates and reduces the chances of catching unwanted items. So the higher your fishing skills, the better success rates you have on fishing, as well as you have better chance of actually fishing something valuable. Something very unique to fishing in Mediva is what's called pools of fish. Basically, those spawns randomly across Mediva map. You're seeing me there looking around for those pools of fish, walking around Thoris and the main, and some of the frozen islands around Thoris because there's so much water around Thoris that it's kind of easy to find those. If you want to farm those yourself, I recommend going to Yesha, Ozaris, Thoris, any city with a lot of access to water and not a lot of obstacles along the way. The good thing about the pools of fish is that they have a great chance of giving us something rare, as you saw there. And I even have a, a video that I'm going to be linking on Medivia Adventure 1, where I compared the yields of a fishing bait or maybe two or three fishing baits with 20 or 15 pools of fish. The return for Maori's lionfish was higher with the pools of fish. So if you want that kind of fish, I would recommend you looking for pools of fish. However, if you're looking for a high quantity of bluegills, shrimp, emerald puffers, butterfly fish, then I recommend you using baits instead. The cost of the baits of 30, 35 MC normally pays itself out. And that's one great thing about fishing, especially in the beginning of the servers. In low rate servers like, like Legacy, Liberty and Destiny, because the price of Medivia coins is quite low. So people normally can profit from selling fish that they spend some time fishing since people would spend, for example, each Maris is about one MC. In Legacy, that would be 5K. In Liberty, that would be 2.5K. So if normally they go by 3K in Legacy, so I'm guessing Liberty would be around 1.5 to 2K. So if you spend your a lot of time fishing, you can get a lot of money from it. And normally in low rate servers or even high rate servers, but in the beginning of the server, the cost of the baits of 30, 35 MC normally pays itself out. Also, if you don't want to spend a lot of time fishing or if you don't want to buy fish from other players, there's also the option. And that's how the market price is normally controlled by the fish to buy rolls from the NPC or even rolls for more rare fish from the Medivia store. Over there in the screen, you can see the breakdown for each price. Uh, normally, a blue gear roll goes about for 300 GP on the NPC. However, from players, you can get a little bit cheaper, maybe 200, 250, 150, depending on the server, especially if there is a lot of offer and not a lot of demand. Now, certain fish like Mary's, Emerald Puffer, they're usually controlled and the price is quite feasible to farm them with Medivia coins. There are different types of fish. Some of them are specific to a particular region. For example, the bluegill can only be found in desert areas. The lionfish can be found anywhere. So that's the list and exactly where you find. Basically, Thoris, one also very important thing to know is that Thoris is not considered a snowy area, even though there's a lot of snow, it's actually a regular area. So that's why you'll find yellow perches there in Thoris and its surrounding areas. 
a snowy area would be considered Forgula, Cold Ridge. And just before I let you guys go, a quick tip on how to use those aquariums. You just right click on the hole and then you left click on the aquarium and that will consume as many rolls as it's possible to fit in that aquarium. Instead of three hours, it's 30 minutes for the large aquariums and it can support a larger number of rolls. And if you ship click it, you can see how long will it take for all those three rows to spawn. There are also the large aquariums, which are more, much more expensive on the Mediva store. And you can replace seven small aquariums with one large aquariums. And the row hatching time is, instead of three hours is 30 minutes for the large aquariums. And it can support a larger number of rows. And that's it folks another tutorial video done now in fishing hopefully you appreciate this video if you like to support the channel just leave that like subscribe share with your friends as well as if you want to use the affiliate link here in the description below for buying medivia coins with cursed diamonds they are very, they are official reseller of medivia coins and it's way cheaper to buy especially in brazilian reais it's way cheaper to buy them up until i think 2000 mc than to buy from the actual comet soft even considering the 10 percent bonus so it's a cheaper deal that this official reseller is offering Medivians for a limited time. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.